Hi, this is Yukiko. I'm just doing a quick video on the difference between vlog and blog and uh, which one should you use? Okay, blog is web blog and that became popular maybe 15 years ago and people started to use more and more blog instead of just website, more convenient. Then vlogging started, maybe around 2002 or so, still very, very young in its history. And why vlog instead of blog? By the way, if you have a team member who is from an Asian country and uh, English is not their primary language, be sure to always distinguish V and B, a very difficult sound, because their native language do not have that. So anyway, blogging is a YouTube video usually, or just a video embedded in a blog site. And what's embedded? How do you do it? Well, we'll talk about that more in different series. We're going to be doing number of series. And the blog that comes with the blog embedded YouTube or video in it is much richer. People can relate to it. And then it is more popular to have video. You know, it's like TV or a movie over reading a book you get more traffic to usually you post it on YouTube so YouTube is very popular so that is a reason why you would wanna choose a blog people would watch YouTube video and then come to your blog and the third one is actually contrary to a popular belief it's really easy to shoot a selfie with your iPhone or a smartphone, Galaxy, Blackberry, whatever you choose, Samsung products, whatever you choose, it's so much easier than you think. And then we're talking about low budget video campaign. So you don't have to buy at this point an expensive camera and if you're traveling it's really quite cumbersome unless you're a photographer so you should know that and number four is Google's and other search engines love YouTube's videos and they weigh more heavily toward vlog than a blog so you get more traffic people will discover you and the fifth one is that you know people don't want to just go and read it happens so often to me too like I would find a great looking blog but it's like just you know like so long and go on and on and I don't want to read it so I said I'll read it later and then I can't find the site so you attract people with a concise simple video unless you're doing a seminar or a webinar you want to keep it short at first two three minutes just say something really precise and concise where people can come to it then they'll click the link below and go to your blog site so I'll be talking about more fully why blog and then some of the technical issues involved with video embedding and video shooting come visit me on my blog abundanceishere.com click the link below and i will see you on the inside